What's up guys, it's me, your web host for Airblaze. Happy to to join you all and welcome you all to this video of Actually Factually. So without further ado, get on board and we're starting right now. Nowadays, air travel is the busiest mode of travel in the whole world. Every day around 8 million people fly worldwide. That's mainly because it is the fastest and the most comfortable mode of travel. But I'm gonna ask you a question. Who invented the first airplane? Most of you will answer the Wright brothers, that is, Orville and Wilbur Wright, but actually, factually, that's not the case. Most history books will tell you that in 1903, in a town called Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, USA, Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first powered flight in an airplane. But these history books are wrong. 25 years before this historic feat, an English engineer called John Stringfellow partnered up with William Samuel Hansen. They together built a vintage model of a plane which they called Aerial Steam Carriage. They even started a business company called the Aerial Transit Company and made plans to carry people to exotic locations all over the world. Hmm, now we can be sure that they were way ahead of their time. In 1848, in an old lace factory in Somerset, England, a scale model of John Stringfellow's steam-driven airplane did fly, but sadly, just over 9 meters. The travel business, unlike their flying machine, never got off the ground and the steam carriage never achieved sustained flight anything like that of the Wright brothers. So why they are not as famous as the Wright brothers? That's because their plane was too heavy and the steam engine wasn't powerful enough to keep it in the air for very long. It wasn't until the invention of petrol-driven engines that the idea of an engine propelled flying machine became practical. Even though Stringfellow and Hansen may not get as much credit as the Wright brothers, but their plane was in the air even before the Wright brothers were born. The plane could not fly for long but theirs was sure an incredible feat. In memory of their masterpiece, a replica of their steam-driven flying machine is exhibited at the Science Museum in London. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, then please leave a like and also share with your friends. Also go down in the comment section below and comment who do you think should be given more credit, the Wright brothers or Stringfellow and Hansen. Forever Blaze signing off, bye bye, see you soon, till then, peace out.